Hey everyone and welcome back to another Warcraft video. Would you like a legendary item per week? Well, in patch 7.3.5 that is going to be a reality. So yes, Blizzard have finally implemented a surefire and dependable way to get legendary items in World of Warcraft right in time for Legion to end where you probably don't care about them as much. But yes, Blizzard have basically added a new legendary system to the game. This is coming in patch 7.3.5, which currently has no release date. However, I speculate that it will be released in January. Now, this new system bolts onto the existing Awakening Essence currency that you currently use to upgrade your legendaries to item level 1000. So currently you get 50 of the Essence from doing Legion content, and then you turn in the Essence for a quest reward. With that um, reward upgrading a selected Legion legendary up to item level 1000. So this has been changed. The quest component no longer exists. Instead, there will be a vendor who sells two items. The first item is the legendary upgrade one that you know today, and it still will cost 50 Awakening Essence. The second one is a purified Titan Essence. This costs 175 Awakening Essence, and using it will synthesize a Legion legendary for your current loot spec. This means that you have the choice between upgrading your current set of legendaries or or going for a shot and a new one. Now it is tied to your loot spec, not your class, which of course is good. And the way this works, I believe, is that this includes both your spec specific and spec agnostic legendaries in that classification. Now at this stage, this pretty much means it'll help your mains get their last few legendaries and it will sort of help alts catch up. But of course the Awakening Essence stuff is not bind on account. But let's do a quick guide on this topic. So on average, you can expect to earn 175 Awakening Essences per week. That's due Doing your daily heroic dungeon, that'll get you five a day. Then each Antorus boss nets you on average 4.5 per boss, so an average of 49.5, so about 50, for clearing the whole raid. This is once per week on any difficulty, so if you run Antorus on normal, you'll get the Awakening Essence. If you run it again in the same week on heroic, you'll get no additional Awakening Essence. So once per boss per week, regardless of the difficulty modes or any of that. Then your weekly Mythic Plus cash will net you 20, and the Emissary caches will net you an average of seven, I believe. And then finally, each of the three PVP weeklies, which are to get 1500 honor in 2v2, 3v3, and RBGs, they give seven each. Overall, that pretty much averages to 175 per week. So, that's one Legion Legendary per week, or upgrading three existing ones. So one thing you might want to do is stockpile your Awakening Essences now. That should allow you to actually buy a few Legendaries on patch day. Now, we're not 100% sure what happens if your character already has every Legendary, but if it's, I assume, following the current rules, then when you try to generate a Legendary, it would give you a bind on account token that you could mail to an alt, but of course, that's unconfirmed. So with that stuff done, let's just talk about it. Yeah, it's only about a year late, right? I mean, uh, I had I had thought this might... Okay, so, like, this is an end-of-expansion catch-up, but the more I think about it, I think it's clear this system, in some form, would have worked the entire way through the expansion. First, Blizzard kept on adding new legendaries to the pool, so there's always something to shoot for. Uh, then second, legendaries have never been that exciting. It's just a random drop that you've got no control over. That's not exciting, there's no accomplishment. By actually earning a legendary in this manner, I think there would have been a greater sense of reward in playing the game, and people would have actually valued the legendaries that they earned. And I think this would have got more people to do more varied content, and generally it just would have been far better for the health of the game. Right now, if you're feeling bored with the game, you can, you know, pull some slot machines and hope you can get something, but you know, if this had it had have existed previously, a system like this, if you were a bit bored, you could know, well, you know what, I'm just 80 essence away from my next legendary, and that gives you a clear goal. It just seems like something like this should have been here for far more of Legion's lifetime. My current perspective on the legendaries is that they're an overall failure in terms of the overall design, but that the items themselves are really cool, um, and the gameplay customization that comes from those items is really cool. I think allowing players to have more reasonable access to them would have freed up the actual core gameplay there that's fun, uh, which is allowing people to make custom builds to the situation, to mix and match what they want with all of their legendaries and what they find fun. Fundamentally, I think that you need some sort of like trackable, tangible 
tangible progress towards your goals in a game. I think this new legendary system does that, but the previous ones certainly did not. Now, when we bring this over to, say, thinking about Azerite and Battle for Azeroth, I don't think Azerite really will take nods from this because it solved a lot of these issues. The gear with Azerite is present on boss loot tables, so it can be acquired directly. You can target a particular bit of Azerite gear that you want simply by farming a specific dungeon or doing a bonus roll on a specific boss. Uh, we don't know if there will be any currency-based gear systems tied into Azerite, but the core point is that loot tables are far more dependable and targetable way to get gear uh, than, say, the game-wide random chance of a Legion Legendary. So to me, overall, Azerite seems like a really awesome system that I think will really add to the game. It just seems fun to fun to customize and all that stuff. Whereas Legendaries, I think they were an expansion-long mistake of broad design that just happened to contain items that had some really cool effects. I'm still a bit baffled that they didn't add something like this to the game earlier. I mean, come on, there's an equip cap of two, so it's not like having more legendaries would mess up the balance that much. It would have just provided a more motivating reward system for the game, and it would have given players access to more gameplay customization through more varied Legion legendary builds, which I think would have been fun. But that's all by the, you know, by the by now, because of course the system is here. It will be here, I assume, for the last nine months of Legion's life. So you can get caught up if you want. And certainly if you are a guild, uh, or, you know, certainly if you're wanting to do as um, Antorus on a new spec, or uh, there's a, you know, I don't know, a particular legendary for your class you really feel like you're missing out on, this will help you a lot. So it definitely is a welcome addition. But that's enough from me. Let me know what you think about this system down in the comments. Dead keen to hear what everyone's sort of, you know, what the lay of the land is in terms of just the broad thoughts on legendaries. But with that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.